everybody, Steve Foster here. Doing a little bit of practicing. Um, one of the things that I've struggled with here recently, because I've been focusing so much on my rifles, is my pistol shooting has kind of suffered a little bit. And one of the things that happens is, because I shoot my rifles, my rimfire rifle open, my rimfire rifle iron, my PCC open, uh, I shoot them pretty, pretty quick. And whenever I pick up a handgun, I always want to try to match that pace for whatever reason. Something in the back of my head. I don't do it consciously, so... Um, subconsciously I do it. So what I'm working on is a basic drill that I've got a plate rack set up. We're probably, I don't know, 11, 12, maybe even 13 yards away. It's a GT targets plate rack. They're eight inch targets. Um, um, yeah, they're eight inch, uh, eight inch plates or six of them. And so what I find with a plate rack, or you can simulate something like this on pendulum, maybe even step back a little bit further than what you typically would shoot pendulum on, and make sure that you go one for one and watch the dot as you transition from target to target. So uh, in order to work on that, I've just started my practice session here. It's kind of hot out here in Georgia for August. Well, after being in Michigan this past weekend, anything's hot. So I'm going to shoot my uh, CWA. It's a rimfire pistol open. Of course, I'm shooting Ely, uh, Ely Force. I got my my target's covered by uh, steel target paint, and uh, I'm going to be using my AMG Labs timer. So my goal is is to really set a benchmark, and you know, I've shot a plate rack before, and I would say probably where I want to be is in that 205 to 215 range, but the key is I want to get a solid first shot, so I want to make sure I get a hit, and then try to have an equal pace going target to target, and uh, see what we can do there. And then I'm going to shoot, let's say, three or four strings, let's say four strings, and then see if I can't turn it up a little bit as, as I progress. But my goal here is to be very conservative, stepping up, shooting it for the first time, you know, in that 205 to 215 range. I'm kind of eyeballing that 210, 212 is where I'd like to be. So let's see what we can do. But again, my goal here is I definitely want to go one for one, all right? All right, that was pl pretty uh, pretty deliberate. I've got my safety on. Um, I felt a little bit a little bit weird as I transitioned to second play for whatever reason. So I checked up just a little bit to make sure I went one for one. So I shot a 218. So right about where the range is, 65 first shot, first split was 34, 33, 30, 29, 27. So I felt more comfortable, but I could feel it when I was shooting that I was a little bit tentative. And then I got into that uh, last couple of splits, that 27, 29, and that's where I feel like I can be. And so uh, you gotta adjust on the go. So in that situation, I took a 218, and if I would have pulled one off of plate two, and I think that's where I felt a little weird is because I was a little bit low on the gun. And uh, you can see some of the hits on the first two plates were a little bit low. So it's important to, to back down that, uh, that targeted edge dial just a little bit, even in the middle of a string. So we got a 218. Let me reset them here. And as you can see on the plates, the first two are, are low right at six o'clock and the other ones are right acceptable right in the, right in the middle. So I got tracking back where I need to be on, on plate three, which based on that, I feel very confident of uh, my shooting because I saw it and I, uh, and I executed. So I got a two, 218 here. So my goal now is probably to juice it up just a little bit, maybe getting that, uh, 205, 210 range, so just a little bit more than where we're at. But again, if the gun's not on the target, don't pull the trigger, and that's that's what I did. I, I felt it a little bit low. Oh, that felt good. So I had a good first shot. Um, had a good first shot. In terms of good first shot, what I mean by that is the gun was right where I expected it to be. Still just a little bit tentative. So overall time's 205. That's right where I'd like to be. First shot, 67. Splits is 30, 28, 26, 27, 27. So that 26, 27 is right where I'd like to be. So that's a 205. Oh yeah, I'm digging that. So 218, 205. Now if I'm in a match, I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, but what, what's interesting is, is you look at my targets, uh, that first one was just a little left to center on the first shot. So that's my recognition that it was a good shot. And then the second one, for whatever reason, I drifted the gun down. And I think what it is is there's a little bit of an angle on the, uh, on the plate rack. But if you look at the other four shots, they're pretty much within an inch or so of each other. So they're right on top of each other. And 
and that means that I'm shooting well. All right, so a 205. Let's see if we can't get a little bit better on that first shot and maybe just juice it up a little bit. Um, my goal at this point in time is probably be right at two seconds. We'll see if we can do that for string number three. If I juice it up a little bit too much, I'll have to dial back on string four. But that's what's going through my head every time I get up to the box and steel challenge. So right about two seconds where I want to be. That felt good. And you know, when I had that first shot on there and the gun just stayed flat, one of the things I've been doing lately is I'm pulling in on my left grip just a, just a hair. So I, I knew that when the gun came up, it was it was right on it. So the first shot was a 56. Overall time was a 183. I'm digging that. Uh, so 56 split was 25, 25, 25, and 26, and then 26. So so 25, 25, 25, 26, and 26. I'm not sure about you, but it doesn't get much more consistent than that for me. I don't know if I'll be able to do a little bit better than that in terms of consistency, but 0 0.01 variation from shot to shot, that means I'm giving every single sight picture the same exact, same exact time. And as soon as I came off that plate, plate number one, I felt pretty good, and I knew I was right where I needed to be, and I, I juiced it up a little bit. So that one was a 183. So I've got a 218, uh, a 218, and then, uh, I don't know what it was, 205 and a 183. So this is the important port magazine. So I've got a decision to make, and this is a good position because, again, my focus of this ex exercise during training is to make sure I'm going one for one. So check, let's check that box. So now I've got an opportunity <clears throat> to probably shoot somewhere in that 180 range. Maybe I could juice it up just a little bit, or do I dial it back and just throw out the 218 and shoot, shoot another two second? My tendency is I got a 218, 205, and the 183. I'm going to juice it up, son. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do and see if we can't get one maybe, maybe in that 183. I'm going to try to shoot just under that, but that run was pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to be messing with disaster because I feel like that was right at about 95, 96, 97% of my capability. So if I juice it up too much, we're going to fall off the edge and we're going to start missing. So I'm going to juice it up a little bit, and I'm going to try to hit right at that 100%. If we go over the edge, we go over the edge, but... We're gonna have fun anyway doing it, all right? Oh, I missed it! I missed the last one! I pulled it just a little bit, uh, a little bit left. All right, let me unload. But I knew that was right, right at my edge of my capability based on my sight picture. The rest were good, and I just, I just took my eyes off the sight as I pulled the trigger i got a little bit excited so what's interesting about that what's that total time it's 179 so i knew that that 183 was in that 95 96 percent of my uh, capability maybe it was 98 percent because of 179 just put me over the edge on the last shot first shot was 56 very similar to first one uh first split 25 23 24 25 and 26 on the last one so uh what happened was, is I knew I was breaking the shot and I kind of stopped the gun a little bit, but anyway, so I got three great, great runs. I could have had a fourth and I really could have been somebody, but the most important part is, is that I knew where my edge was. I went one for one and I was being very consistent, saw the dot on every single plate going through. In order to get better at shooting a pistol or a rifle or whether it's a steel challenge or a rimfire challenge, is you really have to have the fundamentals of markmanship and then be able to control that targeted edge dial that I've talked about and I've written about for, for the last couple of years is, is to make sure that you're in control because as soon as you miss, you lose control and then the panic set in. All right, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that and thanks for your time and we'll see you out on the range soon.